if you notice how black the top of the wick is, and if you see your wick getting that black over a period of time, this, this has been probably 90 days of four to six hours of use every day. So it takes a long time for it to get to that point. But when it does, all you have to do is pull it up, and usually it's easy to twist it up from the bottom a little bit so you can get a grip, and then pull it up, and then all you need to do is snip off that little bit of black wick, and then pull it back down to about that height, and you're good to go. That's all it takes. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makar Kodash, to give me the spirit to do this video. Let's jump right to it. I'm going to read lamp trimming on Google, okay? It says, a poorly trimmed wick creates a flame which is dim and smoky. Now, what happens when you have things packed up in your life and you're entangled with the pleasures of this world, okay? Your light, your lamp gets dim because your oil is low. So if your oil is low and you're not trimming anything and you have an old, black, dark wick, it's not going to shine bright, man. It's going to be dim. It's going to be lukewarm. And eventually, it's going to go to lukewarm to flat out cold. Okay? Because you ain't going to have nothing left. So this lesson is going into trimming your wicks, man, your lamps. So that it can shine brighter. So that your eye can stay single. Okay? All right, let's go to Luke chapter 11, start at verse 33. No man, when he had lighted a candle, put it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which come in may see the light. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when the eye is single, meaning you're focused, you're zoned in, you're not caught up with a whole bunch of worldly pleasures, Okay, and distractions. The whole body also is full of light. But when thy eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Okay, meaning you're not trimming things of this world. Instead, the world is choking the word. It's choking the oil out of you, which makes your lamp dim and ultimately cold, like I spoke about earlier. Okay, but if you're trimming things in your life, that's becoming a distraction and things that are just flat out wicked that you shouldn't be doing in the first place, okay? You're going to receive more comfort. You're going to receive more of the Holy Ghost, more oil, okay? And the strength, the strength to trim things off in your life, okay? Why? Because your Habashima Shai is going to direct your path. He's going to direct your steps. He's going to establish your thoughts, to make those sharp decisions so that your lamp can do what? Shine bright because you're trimming the wick. Okay. Verse 35. Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. Right, man. Take heed. Meaning examine yourselves. Examine your lamps. What's going on? What are you doing? What can you cut off? What can you trim off? Okay. To make your lamp shine brighter. That's very important, man. You got to constantly examine yourselves. As long as your house shine here yet, you got to consistently examine yourselves. Otherwise, you're going to be in big trouble, man, eventually. Verse 36. If thy whole body, therefore, be full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light, as when the bright shining of a candle do give thee light. Right. It's going to be real bright. Why? Because you're trimming that wick. And you got oil in the oil reserve. Because when you trim your wick, more oil comes out. Meaning what? It comes from the reserve, which makes the lamp brighter. Okay? Shine brighter. Meaning you're more on point. All right? Okay, from there, let's go to Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Let your light, your lamps, Okay, shine before men. You got to trim your wicks, man. Okay, you got to examine yourselves and cut off things you need to cut off, man. You got to repent from things, man. You have to do this, man. So that what? So that your light can shine bright. Because if you're doing the will, man, 
and your light is shining bright, you are glorifying your Father, man. Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shah on the earth. There is nothing bigger than that on the earth that you could be doing, man. Nothing. That's going to lead straight to the chariots, man. Straight to a new body. To salvation. Okay? Because that wisdom is what's going to make your lamp shine bright. Okay? And wisdom leadeth you to a kingdom. The kingdom. From there, let's go to Proverbs chapter 4, starting at verse 18. But the path of the just is as a shining light. Uh-oh. That shineth more and more unto the perfect day. That shineth more and more. How is your light, your lamp, going to shine brighter and brighter if you ain't trimming it? That's impossible, man. That's impossible. Okay? If you don't trim it and take care of it and do what you're supposed to do and adjust and repent from things you do, okay, then it's going to get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer, man. Okay? To the point where eventually you ain't going to be able to see. So that's part of the abounding, man. Part of the abounding is that your lamp shining brighter and brighter, man, as the day approaches, that perfect day. Verse 19, the way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. And that can happen to you. Your light can go out, for you know you don't know where to go, man. You got nothing but delusions in your mind. You don't know where you're going, where you're headed. Okay, you can't even see your feet. You don't know the path, the right path. You're going all kinds of ways, man. The wicked way, the evil way. Because your eye wasn't single. Why? Because you weren't trimming nothing, man. And because you weren't trimming nothing, it was like a virus. Like a disease that crept and crept and crept like a cancer. And it ended up biting you in the ass. Okay? Verse 20. My son, attend to my words. Incline thy ear to my sayings. Right, man. So understand what trimming your lips really mean, man. Really mean. All right, from there, let's go to John chapter 12, starting at verse 35. Then Yahweh Shah said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whether he go. Right. While you have the light, believe in the light, that you may be the children of the light. These things spoke Yahweh Shai and departed and did hide himself from them. So the point is the point. Okay? Walking as the children of the light. But you can't do that if you're not trimming your lamps because it's eventually going to go out, man. It's getting choked by things not concerning your salvation at all. That's what's choking it. That's what's making it dim. That's what's making you not trim your lamps. You're occupied by other things, meaning your eyes not single. Okay? From there, let's go to 1 John chapter 1, starting at verse 5. Then this is a message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that Yahweh Shai is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, meaning our lamps are not trimmed, okay, our lamps are gone out, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Yahweh Shai, his son, cleanses us from all sin. And that's the beauty of it, man. As long as we're serving him and doing what we're supposed to do and walking with the light, okay, all our sins are going to be forgiven, man. Okay? Through the blood of your house, Shai. Verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Right. In other words, if you say that you don't have nothing to trim, you're a liar, man. You ain't got the truth in you, man. The Spirit ain't dealing with you. Okay? You have to be in a mind frame of what can I trim today? Okay, and we know this flesh is horrible and it's hard, but damn it, we got to do it, man. That's what makes the elect the elect, because they strove for the masteries, man. They abounded. They overcame, man. Okay, like Yahweh Shah overcame. Verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So trim, examine yourselves, man. Do things that will make your light shine brighter, man. Because it's automatic if you do what you're supposed to do according to the spirit. Okay? Your Habash Shema Bashar going to do the rest. They're going to make your light shine bright. Why? Because you denied yourself. You denied your pleasures, man. You trim those things off, man. That's fat. Okay? From there, let's go to John chapter 8, verse 12. Then spake Yahweh Shah again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. 
He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Right, man. And how do you follow him? Let's go to Luke chapter 9, verse 23. And he said unto them all, If any man will come after me, talking about Yahweh Shai, follow Yahweh Shai, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. That's going to take you to do what? Trim. That's denying yourself. When I say trim, it's denying yourself, man. You're trimming those things off, man. You're not going after your appetites, things that are distracting, taking too much time, whether it be unlawful things that you need to just cut off in general or things that you're doing too much of that's becoming an offense, okay, to you being focused, man. All right, from there, let's go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 4. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief, because that day will overtake you, man, if you allow your lamp to become dark, okay? So you have to think about these things, man, because who's to say that your lamp right now ain't going to go backwards and go to dark? You don't know that, but you got to guard it, man. You got to work. You got to strive so that that's not the case. Make your election calling sure. And the only way to do that is to trim your lamps, man, and move forward. Trim, trim, move forward. Trim, trim, move forward. This is about adjustments, man. This truth. And with experience, you learn that, man. You learn you really got to adjust. Otherwise, if you don't adjust from things that come your way, then you already know your lamp going to become dark. You don't want that, man. That's death, okay? Last scripture, Psalms chapter 119, verse 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Okay? So what can you do to get more of the word in you so that you can see, so that you can shine bright? Cut off things you need to cut off. Mortify. Okay? If your right arm offend thee, cut it off. Your right eye offend thee, cut it off. It's better for that than to be cast into the fire. Trim. Okay? You got to trim. All right? Otherwise, your wick going to be real black, man. And if your wick is black, that ain't good, man. Ain't no brightness coming out of that lamp with a dark-ass wick. Okay? So with that, I hope all you are edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kwadash, to give me the spirit to do this video. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to Yahweh that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.